Hi, all. Many thanks, Karen. And thanks to our extraordinary Chief Judge Janet DeFiore and to all my longtime Vols friends, especially including Marsha Levy and the fantastic Vols staff. I'm virtually accepting your gift through the biosphere now, and thanks for it. And congratulations to Brenna Devaney, who's played such an important role in advancing the legendary Skadden Arps Pro Bono Program and in helping to develop the reach and contribution of the Association of Pro Bono Counsel for the entire legal community. And to our three special honorees, Betsy Plevin, Sheila Boston, and Kate Oberlees O'Leary, who have unselfishly focused so much of their careers on helping others. In a period that sometimes feels as though it offers not much to celebrate, this actually feels like a good occasion to celebrate Vols and what is accomplished over the last 35 years. Vols was conceived based on the concept that New York City needed an organization specifically devoted to identifying opportunities for pro bono volunteers and effectively matching willing volunteers with needy clients. Vols started with the idea that the leverage promoted by developing a continuing core of volunteers through the firms could allow Vols' small but ferociously dedicated staff to foster a dramatically larger scale of legal assistance. Then, over the years, Vols added the concept that by expanding our staff's specialized subject matter expertise, we could provide volunteers with the kinds of substantive sounding board support that would help them feel better able to volunteer even when unfamiliar with the, the law governing their particular matter. It's been a really great model. Vols's work has never been more important than it is right now. The pandemic has increased the need for free legal services as the organizations that provide those services face the threat of deep funding cuts. And the agonizing reminders of racial injustice of the past few weeks remind us also of the pervasive linkage between racial injustice and economic injustice and of the importance of combating both forms of injustice together, particularly using our legal skills, training, and energies, and our economic resources. Now, as Marcia mentioned, the original Vols concept reflected the vision of New York City Bar Association leaders, chief among them our friend of many decades, Lou Craco, father of another friend of many decades, Lou Craco Jr. To our great sadness, we lost Lou Sr., a career-long product of our valued partner firm, Wilkie Farr and Gallagher, just before the originally scheduled date for this event a few months ago. Lou was a no-nonsense guy who saw problems and solved them. He saw the need for Evolves to improve the pro bono contributions of the great law firms and conceived of the Evolves pledge of 30 hours per lawyer per year, to which more than 50 signatory law firms held themselves accountable for decades. His concept for Vols was equal parts pragmatic and aspirational, based on his can-do attitude about starting something new and his deep belief in lawyers' willingness to be generous if given the right opportunities. Lou's enormous legacy includes literally tens of thousands of New Yorkers who've received critical legal services relating to the essentials of their lives through the Vols institution he created. As a small token of the gratitude and affection of the Vols family and the New York legal community, let me virtually hand this star to the Craco family, uh, some, several members of which have joined us for this event with promises to get it into your actual hands soon. Uh, thanks to all of you who have joined Vols for tonight's celebration and who support Vols' efforts year after year. And here's to another great 35 years for this small but mighty protector of people in crisis. Thanks very much.